Clive Fugel is a carver at Tapoya's Māori Arts and Crafts Institute in Rotorua. He's the longest serving member, spending more than half a century at this important cultural centre. 53 years, 53 years, coming up 54. I started off as a hobby and went ballistic and I yeah, love it. It's just uh, something that's, and it's an introduction to the rest of the culture and everything. The institute opened in 1926 and has been largely funded by the neighbouring Te Poya geothermal tourist attraction. However, with COVID-19 forcing the closure of Te Poya, the financial future of the institute was looking bleak. Today, the government threw it a lifeline, announcing it will spend $7.6 million to keep it afloat. Oh, it's fantastic, really, um, because we're not just a tourist organisation, we're a cultural identity, and uh, it's, it's keeping our culture alive at the same time, because we don't get government funding. This is probably the only bit of government funding we've had, that I know of anyway. Um, and it's, it's, we've got to have it to keep it going, because all our funding comes from tourism. So if you've got no tourism, how are you going to fund the rest of the culture? The whole country had, the whole world had to act, act fast, so within, you know, within a matter of uh, probably two weeks it went from a, a real busy space to absolutely no one around and we had to, we had to lay, unfortunately had to lay people off, which is the hardest thing to do. Um, and you know, just our, our staff, our students, everybody here at Te Puya uh, took it really well. They knew that um, it, was, it was something that everyone had to do. Um, for the betterment of, of, of our kaupapa and you know now we've been, as I say, we've been given a life link to, to, um, to come back so we're really, really grateful and really excited about what the, what the future holds. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern made her first trip outside the capital since lockdown began to visit the institute and announce the investment. New Zealand Māori Arts and Crafts Institute uh, really is uh, holds a, a very important place within Aotearoa and that's why uh, that extra support is going in place to make sure that as we come through COVID we don't lose uh, the chance for us to ensure that we have uh, weavers, um, carvers, um, those who have specialist knowledge continuing to pass it on through the institute here. Māori Arts and Crafts Institute is a legacy uh, institute that has contributed to the revitalisation of Māori arts and, and culture, bone carving, pounamu carving and those skills and talents have been grown over a long period of time. Aside uh, to that is the tipuya product. So what we know is what is unique about tipuya is that it is a product that offers so much for New Zealand tourism, not just Māori tourism. As we know, it's the fabric of our, of our country. It is our DNA, it is who we are, our, our Māori culture. And it's something that we, we love to do here at um, NZ Mackey. And we have a strong legacy and this funding enables us to continue that legacy uh, of cultural perpetuation. The government confirmed the investment was exclusively for Te Poya, with additional funds being made available for other tourism operators. A significant investment, not only in tourism, but in preserving Māori culture and traditions. Nathan Morton, Local Focus.